Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to simplify a fraction, and this is part two. So if you need part one, that link is down in the description, and then you can come back to part two. If you're ready for part two, let's jump into number one, where we have 18 thirtieths. So when it comes to simplifying fractions, remember, we are looking to get the smallest numbers in value that we can for our numerator and denominator, the simplest, lowest numbers. We do this by finding common factors between our numerator and denominator, and then dividing them by that common factor. That way we break this fraction down to those lowest, simplest numbers we talked about. So in part one, we listed the factors for our numerators and denominators. You want to get to the point where you do not need to do that. So for part two, we are not going to list the factors. So for 18 thirtieths here, we need to start by thinking, are there any common factors between 18 and 30? Well, they are both even, so we can divide them both by two and start breaking the fraction down that way. Now let's try to think of a larger common factor in value other than two. That way, it's going to take less steps to simplify. You want to find the largest factors in value that you can. And if you use the greatest common factor, you will simplify in one step. So for example, 18 and 30 here, well, I know that we can divide 18 by six. Six is a factor of 18. And six is also a factor of 30. Let's divide both of these by six. Six is actually the greatest common factor. So let's divide this by six and this by six. And we get, well, 18 divided by six is three and 30 divided by six is five. Now the only common factor between three and five is one. So this is in simplest form. Six is the greatest common factor between 18 and 30, so we were able to simplify in one step. Now let's actually do number one again and take a different path to get to the simplest form. So let me rewrite 18 thirtieths. And we mentioned that they were both even, so we have a common factor of two. Let's divide both of them by two and see what happens. So divide by the common factor of two. 18 divided by two is nine. 30 divided by two is 15. Nine fifteenths is different than three fifths, but nine and 15 have a common factor of three. So we can divide both of those by three because the only common factor isn't one yet. When the only common factor is one, that's when we're done. So nine divided by three is three. 15 divided by three is five, so we get three fifths that way as well. Now let's actually do that one other way. So 18 thirtieths. Now another common factor of 18 and 30 is three. So let's see what happens if we divide by three first, the common factor of three. So we will divide both of these by three and we get 18 divided by three is six, 30 divided by three is 10, so 6 tenths. Well, that's different than 3 fifths, but we still have a common factor other than 1. 6 and 10, they're both even, so they have a common factor of 2. Let's divide both of these by 2 here. And we get 6 divided by 2 is 3, and then 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we got 3 fifths that way as well. So you can see that there are sometimes different paths that we can take in order to simplify a fraction. So something to keep in mind. But again, if you use the greatest common factor, you will simplify a fraction in one step. Now, the more you do of these and become more familiar with simplifying fractions and really fractions in general, the better you will become at simplifying fractions. Let's move on to number two, where we have 42 49ths. 
Now we need to think, are there any common factors between 42 and 49 other than one that we can divide both these numbers by in order to simplify this fraction? Or is the only common factor one and we are already in simplest form? So what we can do now, we can take a look at one of our numbers and think of its factors. Once we start thinking of factors, we can see if any will be common factors. So for example, let's start with 42 here. We know that one and 42 are factors of 42. Are there any other factors? Well, we know six times seven equals 42, so six and seven are factors of 42. Let's compare that information to 49. Well, 49, we know seven times seven equals 49. We know seven is a factor of 49 as well. So seven is a common factor between 42 and 49. Let's see if we can think of any other factors that may be larger in value. Well, three and 14 are factors of 42, but they are not factors of 49. So let's use seven and go from there. If you have a common factor, you can just start there and start breaking the fraction down, get to the next fraction, and then see if you can continue simplifying or if the only common factor is one and you are in simplest form. So again, let's use seven here. So we will divide both by seven. 42 divided by seven is six. 49 divided by seven is seven. So we have a six and a seven. Now the only common factor between six and seven is one. So this is in simplest form. And seven happens to be the greatest common factor between 42 and 49. So we were able to simplify in one step. So there you have it. There's how you simplify a fraction part two. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.